oh, where you watch? Look where you watch. No, where you watch. Choose the right thing to watch. And this enough to watch. Sticky Stucky Sweet TV with Keith Gargan, Facebook and YouTube. And that enough to watch. The movie star flight take off from Pelper Time TV. So that. Boom. A big sound of a big tune. Ja all is Emmanuel I woe Ja Gideon I'm a Gideon The Gideon I'm a Gideon The Gideon I'm a Gideon Well, Gideon go bustin' out the mat Again, so much oppression Poor people face right now Them crying out for freedom Them crying out for free speech Then, said them want to stand up Like them black liberators Like Malcolm X and Martin Luther And the ancient monarchy Where come pay of the way, sir Free up black people from me Tear down them fence, yeah Gideon, I'm a Gideon The Gideon, I'm a Gideon the Gideon, I'm a Gideon, well The Gideon go bustin' out the mat I listen, I see, I, the power of the Trinity Give us the teaching of His Majesty And we know war, not every... Blue, Mr. Gargan, blue Blue till me dance up me toe This is Sticky Stucky Sweet TV with Keith Gargan. Good, healthy food with the X Factor. So give it a like, share, subscribe, and touch up that notification bell. And that is it. Look at that. When I wake up, when I wake up, what's going on? 14 billion. People need to get a little uh, petty, petty money that, that couldn't build two hospitals. Deliver me from my enemy, my God. Set me an eye from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity. Save me from the bloodthirsty men. For behold, they lie and wait for my soul. The mighty gather themselves to gather against me. Not for my disobedience, not for my sin, Lord. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. Rise up, behold, and help me. You, Lord God of Armour, the God of Israel, rose yourself to punish the nation. Show no mercy to the wicked, treacherous, sealer. They return at evening, howling like dogs and prowl around the city. Be all they spot with their mouth, so they are in their lips, for they say, Who art us? But you, Lord, laugh at them, you scrap of all the nation. O oh, my strength, I wish for you, for God is my eye tower. My God will go before me with his loving kindness. God will let me look at my enemy in triumph. Right, they so. Don't kill them, or my people may forget. Scatter them by their power and bring them down, Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them be catching their pride for the curses and lies which they utter. Consume them in wrath, consume them, and they will be no more. Let them know that God rules in Jacob to the ends of the earth. Selah. At evening, let them return. Let them all like a dog and go around the city. They shall wander up and down for food and wait all night if they ain't satisfied. But I will sing of your strength, yes, I will sing a load of your loving kindness in the morning. For you have been my eye tower, a refuge in the day of my distress. To you, my strength, I will sing praises, for God is my eye tower, the God of my mercy. Up and running, up and gunning, Sticky Stucky Sweet TV. Keith Gargan, cassava, passava, mind over matter, up and running. So anyway, this is a continuation of the Jamaican when it used to be a first world country, in my opinion, in the 60s and before that as well. Because when we talk about tram care and things like that, <laughs> that first world country, and I'm not joking that because even today, tram care on really out of city in most of the European country them. And it's a beauty when you have tram care like a train around the middle of the road. You know what I mean? You, you go all the European country, you see a lot of them. So, and um, well, America, all about them there in a certain city. So you call that first world country. But look on that, the train gone, tram, tram care gone. The beauty of Jamaica gone. And all them are trying to think they can build up his sky line of building and things like that is all. No, 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 no. That is running down Jamaica. Jamaica not develop. 
it will go backward. And everybody come and sell peace and sell peace. And that's all it is. So we are continuing upon that road. Uh, we are beat and teach, you know. And when we are looking upon and something will touch my core, we have to deal with it. So we are dealing with it. We talk about the train and the buses and the rural area houses them and things like that. And the beauty of Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica used to clean, no patrol, no bungalow, bungalow. And peaceful, that is the most important thing. So, you know what I mean? So, we are going to deal with the hospital today. So, we are talking about, show you a little thing from when PMP are run the hospital and since Labour come in, they don't do nothing. All them do is labour them out and talk and labour, 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 labour. That's all them do. And they don't do nothing and run down the hospital because when you know, the earlier days of PMP, you have some equipment, but since the labor come in, people have run gone and migrate, the nurses them. It gets worse. I, mean, I said, nurses never used to migrate before, you know, to get better pay. But not like the exodus where they deal with under, with under this labor government. And blo both not just the nurses, you know, teachers and with all these people. So I'm a joke, joke thing I make around here. So the whole thing is this, is to really keep people focused on the whole thing, you know. So all these them come and I talk about when before I mean I tell the destruction where them people come and nobody know what the responsibility. Christopher and things like that. He might always try to shake out things. He should resign long time them other things where the brother they um happening on a film watch, you know, from COVID, from the baby them were dead and things like that. From the people them who were dead in a hospital and a childbirth. This man I took responsibility for nothing and him still there. So what kind of government is this? So people can just see the nature of these people. So you know, so you have to try to just keep up with things and blah blah. There's no people are sleep on cardboard and all them things and I buy cardboard for how much you want to dollar for sleep on in a corridor. That never used to happen on a PMP. If if that used to happen on a PMP, somebody can come with the evidence and show me that. Believe you me, show me that. And if, if, if no certain equipment ever was there and a PMP, because my brethren get an um, operation quick, quick, quick in a 2015 and a PMP, believe you me. Yeah. So me personally know, say, look, the situation always get worse. And then you have now the Carnival Region Hospital from 2017 when them allocated about over two billion dollars something close to three billion and yet about 17 you know you know what she has done now why well, I, mean, I tell you to run to the cup why well, I, mean, I tell you something you know how people can really um make these people put blindfold on the eye i want to know really get up and see it i'll know the fucking hospital still not finished and to me, it's far from finished, I'll do me not up on the ground. What is that when I hear? Because they don't come and talk and show the good part of it. But people are show the bad part of it anyway. And people are see it and they don't like that. But the most of all, we hurt people. If something I come from just under three billion to refurbish a hospital, you know, not building a hospital, you know. From 2017, that project start. And now it's 2024 and it's still not finished. And here the big one now. It jumped from that amount under 3 billion, just under 3 billion to now over 14 billion and it still can't be more. <laughs> yeah. Now sometimes you say you take bad things in club, but this is not why. I mean, I know, I mean, <laughs> and this man can't get account. For nothing. They don't say show off things. That's why they don't really want to come out with this. Elite six, you know. Who rob the money, you know. Then try to cover it too. Only in a Jamaica that can't happen still, you know. And by running election for this yeah, I tell you, you know, people. When you now wake up. When you now wake up. What's going on? Fourteen billion. People need to get a little uh, petty petty money that that couldn't build two hospitals. You know, to distant good hospital in a, in, 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 in a no time. I won't say no time. Now I go take from 70 years till now. Now I go take that long. 
You know what I mean? Now, nah, man, nearly eight years. As me, <laughs> why? Why me have laugh and me laugh, but me laugh with grief, you know, people. And this little man look, um, man look like me now and I said, I feel like I say, well, and them take Jamaica people for idiot. All of them, you see, that whole for them money chop, you know. And nobody who get accountable for court, yo. They might try to shut up the um, integrity commission and all them things there. Eh? But we are anyway, when I go down that one different video, we are, we are gonna keep and stick to the um the prize over the pan, you know? Stick to the code. Now I come up for the code, we are stick to the code. So we are dealing with, as I'm saying, we are talking about really how Jamaica used to be in the sixties and earlier than that. Used to be nice with the Jolly Joseph bust them, J.O.S. bust them, as a little youth to grow up and things like that. Yo, yeah, was a jar that, uh, I tell you, Jamaica was Jamaica. The J.O.S. J -O -S bust them, the country bust them, everything. And as I'm saying, you know, see, no really bust in a them time there. You know, no whole for accident like these car, we, 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 and the minivan and things like that, we kill off so much people since them things are coming. So you see, not even that Jamaica can have. So you can't, so them time, that's what I said, them time was first world country, as a click Caribbean country. Now up here, taxi, you have like Backstreet, Africa, and things like that. Because you have, you have, you have, you have, you have, you have taxi in America and everything, but you, you have taxi when you want a taxi. You know, you have taxi that carry people, to transport people like a bus, and things like that. Jamaica, I come from a long way where them sisters have um, so much freight of buses. Right? For every 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 route in a Jamaica. And all these little um, this this is this is um in the rest of Africa. Or oh, Africa can Africa not really have like this again. So well certain part of Africa to be truthful. But boy, come on now man. That a transport there's a transport system, they might watch Jamaica, this is a transport system. It's not up in the 21st century. Never. Never ever. Look at what Bus Miss England come and um, change. Even that Jamaica can gonna do and get these second hand bus and make it be a better place. More than these, so people can get buses and have a lot of spaces. Because it's there, but everybody um trying to do and grab and flee. And everything them do, the transport authority don't know, not safe because it's pure corruption. So then not not set up properly again, everything just loose. So that's why things so slacky tidy. Not not set. You know what I mean? So yeah man, so we are talking about this. And you know, we have to talk about and I like this thing, you know, how the hospital them look and how them used to stay. And uh, each government and things like that. And then, you know, we are come back now to Damon Crawford have something to say on this as well. The Colonel Region Hospital, yeah. He have something to say on this. And I go like while he said this statement, so I'm going to bring it back in at the fort again. Yeah, man. And people can really understand. So, without no further ado, let's get into the video. Boom. A 45 member team of the Kingston Public Hospital used their Labor Day 2012 to cut the overwhelming backlog of surgical cases at the island's premier referral medical institution. KPH is the main or the major referral hospital for this country. The box stops here. So everybody refers to us. Connell Regional Hospital from the, the West, Mandeville Hospital, Maple, St. Anne everybody comes here. But this is where the specialists are, right? Um, and so we, are all, we always have a backlog of soldiers. Each year, the KPH undertakes 1,200 major surgical operations and 12,000 minor ones. But another 1,000 people whose cases are not considered dire are placed on a growing list to make way for trauma cases and other emergencies. According to Mr. Boyd, given the competition for theater space and medical personnel, the priority always has to be given to life-saving cases. This is just an illustration of our commitment to 
solving some of the problems that are being faced by us as a We have maybe close to 2,000 patients who are waiting for, for surgical care. It's why the 45-member team of doctors, anesthetists, and nurses decided to use their Labor Day to undertake the project to bring relief to 19 of the patients who have been hanging on to hope for their day in the operating theater. So yes, really want to show you, under the PMP 2012, how the hospital used to look and how the nurse them used to unite. They never really migrated in that abundantly number in those times. As since this Labour government coming up power, you know, so no matter about them are angry and people just look at the hospital how clean it is and how it looks like modern hospital and at the PMP you now. Let's look at that. And this is no joke. Like it was a talk because you want to talk against a party. No no no. We bore well not things, drill well and the start the truth because let's look at this picture. How the place look clean. And you know, then you know, under the PMP government, the doctor them come out in them numbers and labor there and make it a point of duty to look after some um, emergency surgery. Just as a gesture, you know, under the PMP government, Labour Party, PS crumbling them upon and things like that. They never make nothing like that happen. So you look on this hospital and Look on 2024, the condition of the 2024 under the GLP, the hospital, and all people are ball. That's remember you now. It's a big situation, serious situation. Yeah. So look at this. And you tell me, people, if you know, say a big difference. And, and, and yet, you this guy, a prime minister, come to go about on a PMP, rate, lay, lay, don't let them go back to this. This brother here, three, really, a trifle, really. He fooled some people already, you know. For eight years, really, now, you know. I'm going to eight years, you know. I'm going to say, people are going to make this guy here with him lie. Because video don't lie, you know. And that's all it is. So, I mean, I don't make up nothing. I'm going to show you comparison to honor the rule of the PMP to honor the rule of the JLP and see what's going on and look at the difference. Right now, all the nurses, them, them gone. But nurse was there. I mean, said nurse never really migrate and go in a better job. You know, and, the, and the PMP, you know, because that go on from a longer time. And that always go on in every country. But not, not in a tsunami like this, what go on in a JLP. Plus the teachers, them, they never touch the teachers, them, anyway. So judge for yourself, people, and look at this, right? Look at this, and you tell me now. Yeah, man. They say a healthy nation is a happy nation, and once members of the medical team are happy and equipped, the better care they provide to patients. Touring the Kingston Public Hospital, Shadow Opposition Minister of Health and Wellness, Dr. Maurice Guy, urges the government to be more proactive in tackling issues faced in our health sector. What we saw was not outside of what we have been seeing on social media and patients have been reporting to us. We have seen where conditions in the ward are over capacity. We have noted where the staff here, the nursing and the doctors, have had to be very creative in terms of finding bed space for wards that are overcrowded. Wards that usually have, say, half of a ward, 18 capacity, now at 32. We tour the neonatal, the high, the, the neonatal unit at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital, the one that was at the, the forefront of the deaths of the infants last year, 
and we have seen where significant improvement has been made in terms of accommodating those premature and preterm babies and the facilities that have been put in place to prevent a recurrence. Emphasizing the issues mentioned by Dr. Guy, CEO for the Kingston Public and Jubilee Hospitals, Dr. Natalie Wiley, says the cadre of nurses tops the list of issues as currently they're understaffed. Um, there is active recruitment of nurses, especially the specialist nurses. When I say active recruitment, I mean overseas recruiters who come so from the United States, from the United Kingdom, and they come to Jamaica and they recruit nurses, especially the specialist nurses with experience. So it is very, very difficult. However, for every problem, there is a prescribed solution. Send some of our local nurses for training and fund their training so they can come back and serve in our hospital so that we don't have to be dependent on teams coming from overseas to come and fill the gap. After visiting the various departments and consulting with nurses and doctors, Dr. Guy concludes the team is dedicated as they continue to give first-class treatment despite existing conditions. Yeah, man, this is Damian Crawford. And I'm going to make an attempt to see if I can bring some logic to this conversation about the Cornwall Regional Hospital. Because it seems like there are an attempts being made to just throw it into one whole heap of cascas and argument. So I'm going to see if I can bring some logic to the argument. And I'm going to use mathematics because mathematics, as you know, is a subject of logic. So I'm going to use mathematics to explain why I believe there needs to be an inquiry into the Cornwall regional situation which may lead to a resignation or a resignation which may lead to an inquiry. Now there's a topic in mathematics that they call um, vectors in and vectors have two components the vector have the direction and the vector have the distance, or some people say the magnitude. So a vector have a direction from point A to point B, and it have the distance, or the magnitude, how far is point B from point A. Now, when you judge a situation, you actually can use the concept of vectors. You use the direction, and you use the magnitude. So in a situation, the direction can be positive or negative. And the magnitude, I could tell how positive or how negative. So in the Cornwall regional situation now, we have a direction. Clearly, there's a negative direction. But what we are not having the conversation about is the magnitude. And it's clear many people don't understand the difference because we are saying, oh, this problem existed long before. Now, when you come to a particular situation, if the direction is negative and it just got to a small distance, then they call it an issue. So you have a negative direction, but it's a small distance, they call it an issue. As it goes further, meaning the distance goes further, but the direction is the same, still negative, but it's now greater than an issue, you call it a problem. And when the situation now you have a negative direction and it goes even further than a problem, you call it a crisis. So any single situation can move from an issue to a problem to a crisis based not on the direction because every one of them have a negative direction but based on the magnitude how far this is or what's the distance of it now this particular case in the Cornwall regional hospital there was a negative direction which started from in 2007 so in 2007 the man them said yo there's an issue there's a smell we don't know what it is there's an issue it's important so we understand that the judgment of action must be based on whether it's an issue it's a problem or it's a crisis so when you judge an action if a man say oh there's an issue maybe him just are going to observe it etc etc it's an issue you, you judge him action and say okay the action is sufficient because it's only an issue all right so in 2007 them say oh there was an issue the jlp was in power but that's insignificant them deal with it how it was supposed to be dealt with for an issue yeah observe you yeah, wonder if the pits think whatever people are wondering if there's an issue now the issue dissipated or the issue was re reduced a little bit seen and so therefore it re-emerged in 2016 and in 2016 not only did the issue re-emerge or the situation re-emerge as an issue it then now migrated or it elevated to a problem
See, so in 2016 now, when Tuftan was in charge, people were saying, there is a problem. In fact, Tuftan himself suggests that when he became aware of the situation, seeing at that time, he took actions to make it get even worse. So therefore, the magnitude, the distance became greater. So in 2016, Tuftan, who inherited an issue, saw it migrate into a problem. So therefore, I believe at that time, Tufton took correct actions so say research the problem, understand the problem, and seek solutions to the problem. Now, in 2016, having done the research, Tufton himself said, Yo, when I did the first action of cleaning the vent, it made the situation worse. So this thing I migrate now from a issue to a problem, and him say it get worse, so therefore it's now a big problem going towards a crisis. When it became a crisis was in 2017. In 2017, Tufton received a report that say, oh, this thing have cancer causing agents or pathogens seen. So therefore, you now know as a fact that it's no longer simply an issue. It's no longer even a problem. But this thing is now a crisis. That now means that at a crisis point, it demands immediate action and corrective action meaning at this point any wrong action is going to be of great negative so therefore now once it's a crisis you have to judge a man or him act within the crisis now the problem that exists with Tufton is that when it was a crisis he continued to treat it as if it was an issue so when people say oh this exists from 1972 that's not true nothing exists maybe there was problems occurring that we weren't aware of but a situation don't exist until people become aware and so when you become aware of a situation you have to then use vectors to say is this situation in a negative direction which is clear it was in a negative direction and what is the distance the magnitude of this situation in 2007 it was an issue wasn't of great magnitude so even though jp was in power it wasn't of a great magnitude in 2016 it became of a great magnitude and i think he acted correctly to say oh this is a problem i'm gonna try to start out the problem but in 2017 when he got information that this have cancer and chose not to tell anybody when he heard that this have cancer and was telling people that um it's all in their mind when he heard that this hospital could be causing cancer and he was saying to people that yo it is soon be fixed when he heard that it have cancer and he rejected the opinion to close it i think that he acted incorrectly so therefore obviously there are different opinions because the uh, pmp some people saying yo pmp playing politics that might be true because if it was under pmp maybe i wouldn't be so vocal but i wouldn't be less vexed so I'm a politician, politicians play politics, just like how bakers bake cake. But it don't change the fact that flour is flour and egg is egg and sugar is sugar. How the baker use it don't change the fact that these things are as they are. So the baker use egg and oil use egg is just facts and want to use it this way, but it don't change the fact says egg. Whether or not we are playing politics, it don't change the fact that Tufton heard that the hospital had cancer causing agents. Other people with over 200 years of medical experience said to him, based on what we know now, close the hospital. He chose, in his right as minister, to not close the hospital. If it is that he's going to take that decision, then if the decision turns out to be of a negative outcome, there must be a review as to why he took that decision and there must be a review as well as to what are the repercussions, repercussions for taking that decision. So therefore, me I said, Tony, so the next time I'm in a maths class and say maths can't help in a life, this is a situation where prove that you're wrong. Because if you understood vectors, you would know the difference in a situation between an issue, a problem, and a crisis. And the only minister that was present when it was a problem and a crisis is Dr. Christopher Tufton who is a man who is lecturing me at you, is a man who married as a virgin, but at the same time, is a man where I have to answer to why he made the decisions he made that caused for very big negatives for people who now know that they're sick and for some people that don't even know that they're sick. Respect. A big sound, a big, big, big tune. Ja all is Emmanuel, I, boy. Ja Gideon, I'm a Gideon. The Gideon, I'm a Gideon. The Gideon, I'm a Gideon, well, 
Give the younger boss in the mat again. So much oppression, poor people face right now. Them crying out for freedom. Them crying out for free speech. Then said them want to stand up like them black liberators, like Malcolm X and Martin Luther and the Asian monarchy where come pay of the way, sir. Free up black people from it, tell them them fence, yeah. Gideon, I'm a Gideon. The Gideon, I'm a Gideon. The Gideon, I'm a Gideon. Well, the Gideon got us in the mat. I listen to the power of the power the Trinity. Give us the teaching of His Majesty. And we know what? No devil philosophy. Not ten trickle level for man's skin is of no more significant. Well, to the color of his eye. Remember all the war done in 1935. This is Sticky Stucky Sweet TV with Keith Gargan. Good, healthy food with the X Factor. So give it a like, share, subscribe, and touch up that notification bell. And that is it. Look at that.